Good evening, Christopher Gavin here with week three's assignment of Introduction to Bullet Emination and Basic Ballistics. So this week on part one of our assignment we had to compare the examples between what an explosive is versus the propellant. The major difference between is the burn rate. The speed between the two at which the reaction propagates meaning how fast each kernel burns and how quickly each adjacent kernel is ignited. Um, with explosives, it will detonate at supersonic speed. Propellants are designed to deflagrate, excuse me, under pressure. Too much pressure can cause a possible detonation or an explosion. So the more pressure, the more Possibly it will explode as an explosion instead of a propellant. Which, if this happens in a cart cartridge, it's catastrophic, but not just for the cartridge, but also for the firearm and possibly the shooter as well. Part two, we, in our own opinions, it was asked to... What, how's that? Um, if we would change our current propellants, me personally, no. Because the fact is, I feel like it's working, and if it's not broke, don't fix it, is my uh, um, saying I've always gone through. And honestly, it's working pretty well, I personally think. Um, also, I will mention all of my information did come from our Introduction to Basic Ballistics uh, textbooks, chapters 5 and 6. Uh, and in part 3, we had to draw the three different types of primer caps, boxer, burden, and battery cap. And I will change my camera here. I'll just show you this way. As you can see, the boxer, the flash hole is right here. Um, it has one flash hole. The boxer, just quick thing about them is they cost more uh, to produce, but however, they are easily removed and for replaced for reloading. The burden has two flash holes. The anvil you can see, and it is the simple part and cost, but is more difficult to reload, unfortunately. And then finally. It'll be our battery cap. You can see we have the primer hole, the anvil. It is the same as the boxer primer, pretty much. It can be easily re removed for reloading. Shot shells in with some muzzle loaders is mainly used for, and it's also known as the 209 primer. Uh, once again, this is all... For week three, I'm sorry, drawing a brain fire there. For week three of my introduction to firearms or introduction to basic ammunition and ballistics. Thank you. Have a great night.